Hello, Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen. And today I'm here to talk to you about the five biggest mistakes shawl knitters make. If you wanna take your shawl to looking amazing every single time with the finished results that you really want, you're gonna need these five tips. So let's dive right in. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. The first mistake shawl knitters make is not checking the drape. And I have a shawl right here that I'm working on. And the first thing I like to do is give it kind of a wiggle test. How does it feel when it's actually knitted up? Does it hang beautifully? Does it have the look and smoothness that you want? Or does it feel like cardboard? So that's a really important step in the process. You may need to go up a needle to get a better drape. You might need a totally different yarn. The second biggest mistake that shawl knitters make is binding off too tightly. You usually have a very large area or a number of stitches that you're binding off. It can be stressful and knitters tend to bind off very tightly. And then what happens is the bottom of their shawl or the wings of their shawl do not look good. They are like tight, whereas the rest of it is loose and it just doesn't give it the right finished look. So I have a couple tips to make a better bind off. The first tip is to bind off on a larger needle. So let's say you've been knitting along on an eight needle and your bind off tends to be too tight. So pick up a size nine or 10 needle and just do the bind off right onto that needle. You don't need to slip stitches or move them from one needle to the other. You, just for the bind off row, you're going to pick up the new needle and bind off onto that. The second tip I have for you to, for a looser bind off is to bind off using a stretchy bind off. And I'll show you how to do that right here. The stretchy bind off starts off the same way as a regular bind off. You're going to knit the first two stitches. Now, after you knit those first two stitches, this is where something changes. Instead of taking the first one up and over, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go in with the left hand needle in front of those two stitches and then knit them together. So you've actually knitted them twice. Now we're gonna knit the next stitch and then bring the left needle in front and knit those two stitches together again. And you're gonna keep repeating that. You're gonna knit the next stitch, bring the needle in front and knit those two stitches together and repeat that all the way across the row and you have a very nice stretchy bind off. The third mistake that a lot of shawl knitters make, especially beginners, is they don't use a circular needle. Circular needles can be very scary to new knitters and they wanna cram every stitch onto a straight needle. This, for example, is my shawl that I'm working on now, and it's going to be, you can see, it's not very large. It's going to be very large by the time I'm done with it, and I'm going to need all of the length of the circular needle. Plus, when you're knitting something like a shawl, they get very heavy after a while, and what happens is you're trying to knit with this huge piece of fabric and it's heavy on your arms, it's just not comfortable. But if, it, if the majority of it is sitting on the cable, it's much easier on your arms, your hands. It's, you're just gonna use this like it's a straight needle. It's just joined here, that's the only difference. And you work back and forth the same way you would with straight needles. The fourth mistake that shawl knitters make is not using a lifeline. Lifelines are a really helpful tool in knitting, especially if you're knitting something more complex like lace or cables. If you just insert a lifeline into your project every maybe 10 or 20 rows, if you make a mistake and then you catch it later, it's very easy to go back 10 rows then have to rip all the way back and try to figure out what you did wrong and you don't wanna to have to start it all over. So a lifeline just gives you that reassurance that your project will be there and be ready for you in case you make a mistake. The fifth mistake that I see many shawl knitters make is not blocking their shawl. You can get excellent drape, a lot larger sizes, um, just beautiful even stitches if you block your finished shawl. And there's lots of tools available. I'm gonna be showing those in an upcoming video. Those are the five mistakes that shawl knitters make. I'll see you in the next video.